everybody, Miss Karen here from Old Worthington Library and today we're going to do some stories and songs that I would normally do for my waddlers and toddlers um, covering walking independently on up to preschool age. So I hope you all feel like being silly because that's what we're going to do. All right, let's get started. We're going to say hello first. Are you ready? Hello, I. Hello, toes. Hello, mouth. Hello, nose. Hello, shirt. Hello, shoe. Hello, tummy. Hello, you. And the first story I wanted to share with you today is called, Is Everyone Ready for Fun? And it is by Jan Thomas. It is being read today with permission from Simon and Schuster Kids. What do you see there? Look at those three cows. They are saying, look, it's chicken sofa. Sofa is like a little couch right there. Plop. Is everyone ready for fun? It's time to jump up and down, up and down. Let's all jump up and down on chicken sofa. Wait a minute, there's no jumping on my sofa. Oh, okay chicken, we won't jump on your sofa anymore. Is everyone ready for more fun? More fun? It's time. To dance back and forth, back and forth. Let's all dance back and forth on chicken sofa. What are you doing now? You said not to jump on your sofa. We weren't jumping. Is Everyone ready for even more fun? No more fun! It's time to wiggle to and fro, to and fro. Let's all wiggle to and fro on chicken sofa. Enough! There will be no more jumping, dancing, or wiggling on my sofa. Then there's only one thing left for us to do. Is everyone ready? Does chicken look ready? I don't think so. It's time. To nap. Napping on my sofa? Yes. Good idea. Good job. Are you ready for our five little monkey song? This one is from a CD called So Big by Hat Palmer, and he has generously agreed to let us use any of his music that we want to use right now. So here we go. Ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. They all fell down and bumped their heads. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So they thought, hmm, and thought, 
hmm, and say, let's run instead. Here we go. Five little monkeys running on the bed. They all fell down and bumped their heads. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys running on the bed. So they thought, hmm, and thought, hmm, and said, let's turn instead. You ready? Here we go. Five little monkeys turning on the bed. They all fell down and bumped their heads. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys turning on the bed. So they thought, hmm, and thought, hmm, and said, let's jump outside. You ready? Here we go. Five little monkeys jumping on the lawn. They just kept jumping on and on. Doctor told Mama there's nothing wrong. Just let those monkeys keep jumping on the lawn. Let them jump and jump and jump and all fall down. Good job. All right. The next story I have for you is called One Day in the Jungle by Colin West, and it is from Candlewick Press. And you can help me with this one. See that little butterfly? What do you think a butterfly sounds like when it sneezes? Let's see. One day in the jungle, there was a little sneeze. All right, you ready? <gasps> Bless you, butterfly, said lizard. Next day in the jungle, there was a not quite so little sneeze. Achoo! Bless you, lizard, said parrot. Next day in the jungle, there was a medium-sized sneeze. Achoo! Bless you, parrot, said monkey. What is happening? They're all sneezing now, aren't they? The next day in the jungle, there was a big sneeze. Here we go. Achoo! Bless you, monkey, said Tiger. Who do you think is going to get the sneeze next? Tiger. Next day in the jungle, there was a very big sneeze. Ha-ha-choo! Oh, bless you, Tiger, said Hippo. Next day in the jungle, there was an enormous sneeze. Ready? Bless you, hippo, said elephant. The next day in the jungle, there was a gigantic sneeze. Can you imagine what an elephant sneeze would be like? Here we go, you ready? Bless me, said Elephant. I blew away the jungle. Uh-oh. Why do you think everybody kept catching that sneeze and passing it along? Did you notice? Did they cover their mouths? They didn't, did they? All right. I'm going to teach you a song about covering up when we cough and sneeze. Now, this one is a song that I initially learned from a CD called Make Your Own Someday by the Jimmies, J-I-M-M-I-E-S. And um, I think I saw it on Amazon for like 99 cents. They have a really cute video of it. Um, but this is called 
do the elephant. All right, so can you show me an elephant? Show me your big long trunk. Yeah, there it is. So it goes like this. Do the elephant when you cough. <coughs> do the elephant when you sneeze. Ha-choo! If you want to make sure no one else gets sick, pretend you're an elephant, please. All right, let's do it together. Ready? Get your elephant trunk ready. Do the elephant when you cough. <coughs> do the elephant when you sneeze. Ha-choo! If you want to make sure no one else gets sick, Pretend you're an elephant, please. Good job. All right. Now, let's get ready for our jumping and counting song, okay? We're going to put up our numbers like this. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. What comes next? That's right. Ten. All right. The Jumping and Counting song is by Jim Gill, and he has also been very generous in saying we can use any of his music while we do our story times. So here we go. Jump, 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 jumping high are we, but we'll stop jumping while we count to three. Jump, 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 jumping even more. But we'll stop jumping while we count to four. One, two, three, four. Jump, 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 just like pogo sticks. But let's stop jumping while we count to six. One, two, Jumping, then we wait to stop our jumping while we count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Jump, 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 jumping once again. But we'll be finished once we count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent counting. I have one last story for you, but first we're going to count down to blast off. Are you ready? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, blast off! Good job. <coughs> Excuse me. I did remember to do the elephant, though. The last story I have for you is called Mother, Mother, I Want Another, and it is by Maria Polushkin Robbins. It was bedtime in the mouse house. And Mrs. Mouse took baby mouse to his room 
and she helped him get in his jammies and she read him a story and she tucked him in nice and cozy. And then she leaned down and gave Baby Mouse a kiss. But when she turned to leave the room, Baby Mouse started to cry. Baby Mouse, what's wrong? asked Mrs. Mouse. And Baby Mouse said, Mother, Mother, I want another. Oh no, said Mrs. Mouse. What am I going to do tonight? Baby Mouse wants another mother. So she ran to get Mrs. Frog. And Mrs. Frog came and sang a lullaby that went like this. Crow, crow, mousy, close your eyes. I will bring you big fat flies. Baby Mouse said, Mother, mother, I want another. Oh, Mrs. Frog went to get Mrs. Duck. And Mrs. Duck came and sang a lullaby that went like this. Quack, quack, mousy, don't you fret. I'll bring you worms both fat and wet. Baby Mouse said, Mother, mother, I want another. <coughs> Excuse me. So Mrs. Duck went and got Mrs. Pig. And Mrs. Pig came and sang a lullaby that went like this. Oink, oink, mousy, go to sleep. I'll bring some apples for you to keep. Baby Mouse said, Mother, Mother, I want another. Hmm. So Mrs. Pig went and got Mrs. Donkey. And Mrs. Donkey came and sang a lullaby that went like this. Hee-haw-mousy, hush-a-bye. I'll sing for you a lullaby. Baby Mouse had had enough. Mother, mother, I want another kiss. Oh, said Mrs. Donkey, and she gave Baby Mouse a kiss. Indeed, said Mrs. P, and she gave Baby Mouse Well, well, said Mrs. Duck, and she gave Baby Mouse a kiss. My goodness, said Mrs. Frog, and she gave Baby Mouse a kiss. Then Mrs. Mouse leaned down and tucked the covers back under Baby Mouse's chin, and she gave Baby Mouse a kiss. And do you know what Baby Mouse said? Mother, mother, I want another. So Mrs. Mouse leaned down and gave Baby Mouse another kiss. The end. So that's the end of that story, and it's also the end of story time for now. So let's reach way up high because we are going to tickle the clouds. Now tickle your toes. Now turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. Goodbye everybody. Take care and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.